Been tracking a new rogue agent cell. They seem determined to pick up where Keener left off. We've identified five rogue agents responsible for attacks on civilian safe houses using Keener's Eclipse virus. Their leader is Carter LaRue, call sign Hornet, one of Keener's army buddies. He's had run-ins with division agents before and seems like a true believer. The only thing worse than Keener's bullshit are the people that buy it. Lori Baker, call sign Termite, former field surgeon. After the quarantine, she murdered a group of infected patients inside a Sarah hospital. She believes eradicating the weak is the only way to gain control. Tegan Silver, call sign Luna. She was working with the State Department when the first wave was activated. We believe she's responsible for leaking critical intel to Keener. Elijah Lee, call sign Huntsman, former bomb disposal unit turned division recruiter. He's the genius who signed on Keener and LaRue. He's eager to prove himself as Keener's successor. Jason Barnes, call sign Titan, former wildland smoke jumper, activated during the second wave. Don't underestimate him. He's an eco-terrorist determined to wipe out humanity. These rogue agents were Keener's most loyal followers. Tracking them won't be easy. They're armed with the Eclipse virus, so don't forget your mask. Hello, motherfucker. Plum here and welcome agents, and wow, how amazingly cool was that Season 2 Manhunt intro? That's right, Season 2 of Manhunt is now live and will span over the next 12 weeks. Complete each stage of the Manhunt to unlock exclusive season rewards. But this is the vendor video, so welcome to this week's vendor reset, the greatest on the interweb. And it's the same as every week. I've gone through the vendors to pick out the top picks of the week, known as Plum's Picks. They could be might buys or must buys for the week. But I'll also quickly mention each named item at the vendors this week, just in case the hoarders out there want to pick them up, even if they're trash. Now you might have a differing opinion on the gear than I do. That's okay, pop it in the comments below. Also remember, when the vendors restock, that means your exotic cash for the projects also restocks. So jump on your characters and make sure you complete those projects. Then after we've gone over Plum's picks, we'll have the full overview of all the gear and some pretty nice tunes. This is just so it saves you the hassle of having to log in and fast travel all around the map. You don't need to watch a 20 minute video of anyone reading out every single stat. This is your one stop shop for vendor resets. Okay, let's get stuck in. At the White House, we've got the named Araldi chest, pristine example. The talent's perfect focus, but with these roles, I really can't see it being usable, but it's here for the hoarders. A little bit down from that, we've got a D50, and there's a few of these around this week. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because you need a D50 to craft your Liberty pistol. And I constantly get sent messages to say, Plum, where can I farm this? Guess what? Now you don't have to. In at the clan vendor, we've got the punch drunk D&H mask. Roll that skill haste to crit damage and it'd be pretty nice for a pistol build. Maybe even that Liberty pistol that you just crafted, hey? The negotiator's chest here is okay, but you'd probably run a different chest option for a negotiator's build. Also got a hardwired backpack. All skill tier items are easily rolled to god rolled items, so grab this one if you need it. And the new gear set, Eclipse Protocol knee pads. Again, another easily god rolled item. At the theatre, we've got the named Sokolov gloves, firm handshake. These ones come with a max roll of 15% status effect. Do not, I repeat, do not put this on your Eclipse build. It's a waste. Maybe useful in some sort of a hybrid build though. At the campus, we've got the quiet roll with the underwhelming talent, Overwhelmed. Good one there, devs. At DZ West, we've got the Harmony again, and it's on par with last week's rolls. Now it doesn't have amazing rolls, but the talent perfectly in sync works great with the Eclipse build, or any other skill build, so if you missed last week's, grab it. And down from that we've got some new gloves, the Foundry Sandra Bulwick, for those that have had trouble farming these. And a little bit further down the list we've got these Badger Tough knee pads that look pretty nice for a shoddy headshot build. At DZ South, the Manic, with perfect overflowing. Skip this named item. 
But again, new gear set stuff, Eclipse backpack, skill T, roll that headshot to whatever, and it's a god roll. And finishing up at DZ East, only because the New York vendors aren't really worth a mention at the moment. We have the named Wyvernware holster, Claws Out. 500% melee damage, 10% pistol, pretty good. But remember, all DZ items cost DZ resources. So no money, no honey. So what do you think? Is there something worth grabbing to play around with this week? I reckon so. A lot of weird and wacky combos this week. Don't do meta, be different. So that wraps up the vendor reset for the week. Hang around now for the full overview. And if you think that I missed something that was worth a mention, you can tell me off in the comments. So did you like it? Then you can smash that like button. And if you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike. But remember, support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.